Hello to the gamers. We are back with Balatro. I, uh, I, I just, uh, you know what? Give me an abandoned deck. I feel like I can understand the abandoned deck a little bit better than like the Nebulon deck, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Ew. A little boring to just go flushes here when we have a three, four, five, six, seven setup that does not require any discards. And then we got a, I mean, we got a full house set up. One of the threes is debuffed, but that's only like a three chip Marty in terms of like loss of expected value. Um, and now I think you go flush mode and we're just like really the dream. Although we do have another full house. What the heck was that? Um, the dream is we have enough money to afford our rare Joker and then like build around it. Times two multi if you got a flush. Listen, you, you could do worse than that. It would be nice to get a flat Joker mult alongside of it, or at least a couple of Empress cards. Temperance is $4. I mean, I, they're, they're doing a great thing for us when it comes to the econ here. I feel like I would be silly not to reroll and look for a Joker. Like a spade Joker. Okay, now we're talking. And you know what? I don't, I don't think the, the econ is the right pull right now. So what do you do? As boring as it may seem to start with, this is the direction that the stars have placed us in, is getting 40 molt flushes in the early game with none face cards. And so we're making some pretty good hands right off the bat, okay? Do I like any of these? Uh, I like a jumbo spectral pack. I like a jumbo spectral pack. I like... So there's three spades in here. I would immolate three cards. It immolated all three spades. Not ideal. <laughs> um, <clears throat> honestly, I'm, I'm skipping that. I apologize, but I am. After defeating the boss blind, gain $15. I'm, I'm really trying to keep the econ high. I have a plan for this run. Like this, this is a very, very bullish start for a run. Um, I would love to add some more spades into the deck. You guys want some cookies? Because we are a little bit, I don't care, don't score the hands. I wanna keep my spades. We're a little bit um, light on alternatives. Like it's one of those games where we pretty much have to play, you know, one hand type and one hand type alone right now, but we have so much money considering it's anti three. Uh, I love baseball card, but it just doesn't fit with what we got going on so far. So I think we spectral pack again. I'm definitely not getting a $52 rare Joker. A gold seal's pretty good though. And then maybe some Jupiters, none Jupiters. We'll go Venus out of a sense of inertia. And you know what? I guess we are voucher pilled. And I think it's only anti three. We can afford to chill a little bit. Double my money. Flush? No, upgrade three of a kind. Okay, now like we're kind of getting to the point where the rubber meets the road. Because it's probably going to take us two spade flushes in order to... Um, we got a little lucky there. In order to get enough points. So like you have to... We, we, we have to start spending our money. It's kind of embarrassing that we haven't up to this point. So let's... I mean, we should have lots of spades. Do we have enough spades left in the... We have zero spades left in the deck. Okay, I probably wouldn't fish for any spades then. <laughs> I guess I would fish for clubs. It is two pair. I didn't even notice. Um, and then... We're only going to have one hand left. It is, it is kind of spooky. At least we got it complete. Please tell me this. Does if this kills us, I'm going to be so sad, bro. <laughs> it was we got so greedy on the money. We just needed one more like flat joker and then everything, it would have all come together. Basically, any joker would have kept us in the game. I just, I was solitarily concerned with our economics for whatever reason. Well, you, you live, you learn. You live, you learn. Well, you live. Whether or not you learn, that's it varies from time to time. Depends on a lot of things, your mood, your age, etc., etc. Now, um, campfire. Now we're freaking talking. It would be nice. I'm, I'm not going to buy the voucher just to buy it. We do need some jokers because we need a flat molt to stay alive right now. But it, it does seem like credit card could juice campfire up like pretty early. But... 
it's a bit of a harder hand to play right now because we're just playing the best hand available, which bizarrely is like more difficult than just mindlessly discarding until you get flushes. <laughs> it's true and he should say it. You know what? I, I, we got a great full house potential here, obviously. This might get us there. It's a pretty strong full house, okay. I would love to just buy another flat mold joker. That's not, uh, it's not what I'm looking for, to be honest with you. I would love to get a judgment card. Not what I'm looking for, huh? Well, what do we like then? <clears throat> it's a good question. I don't really like just flushing everything. If anything, I'd rather create like more of one kind of card. And we'll go next. We're, we're still fine. It's just... Um, I mean, there's, there's always bumps in the road, you know, when you're, when you're playing Balatro. We, we love campfire, by the way. What I will say is we don't need campfire to start popping off until we get a little bit further in. Like, we, we don't need it to be giving, like, plus 11 molt. Because we, we need to get our econ established first, even with credit card. We can spend down the negative 20 bucks, but then we gotta, we gotta find our way out, you know? It's a very important voucher, I think. Um, and... I love a spectral pack. I mean, we're going low here, I'll admit. Random rank, a rare joke. I mean, this is a negative $10 joker. That's a given. Holy cow, DNA, bro. <laughs> Give me, let's start multiplying aces maybe for Scholar then. An abstract joker just got amazing. Mars and Uranus. Honestly, we could sell these for campfire, but we don't need to sell them for campfire. We can use them to make our life a little bit easier right now. And then let's get Earth going too. And I don't know, maybe Pluto. We'll, we'll probably end up accidentally. Oh, we'll play high cards all the time from DNA. Okay, so we, we've got a really cool setup here. We'll definitely just play as many aces as we can. And now I really think we should kind of be fishing for like four of a kind, five of a kind aces. I guess it's easier said than done. <laughs> But just work with me, okay? I, I think anti-3 would be a wonderful opportunity for us to get out of debt. But it would also be nice to, to create a super ace that makes the copying a little bit more productive, right? Because right now, it, it's not bad to copy a base ace. Um, but we could always use a little bit more, like a you know an empress ace or a hierophanted ace or something like that. But I appreciate what they're what they're doing for me here. No doubt about it. These are also very skippable. We can only play one hand. So this is a situation where you just ignore DNA. And you play three of these. No problem. DNA, one of the best jokers to get early, man. It's just a lot of fun to play with. Okay. Can we abandon credit card? Not quite yet. We're, we're keeping the econ going. You'll give me $12. We need to scale a little bit, though. I think we want the $12, but I'm just being realistic. I don't think we can afford to skip for the negative Joker. And I, I really wish we could, but I don't think we, we can afford to. We need to be able to replace credit card with a, a flat Joker. Or a, a multi... See, like, you see what I'm saying here when it comes to the scaling? Like, we, we need to play some freaking dynamite hands, bro. Two sixes, two nines left. Like, I think we did level up two pairs, so there's that. But we really need to draw, like, two aces off this. Otherwise, we might be toast. We drew nothing of the sort. <laughs> I guess we should have... Well, we didn't have a pair, of a, a pair of aces last time, now that I think about it. Yeah, we're cooked, man. Okay, we just waited a little bit too long on the setup. It's been known to happen. I'm just going to tell you straight up, th this might be an early hold R situation because I don't know if I see us being able to... It's a, a spicy discard, don't get me wrong. I don't know if I see us being able to afford a polychrome rare joker. I guess... And all I ask, as always, is, is for your, your understanding and your mercy, you know? As we get up here higher and higher in the, in the stakes, like, Balatro's no joke, man. I think that the, my present take on it, at least, hang on one second, this is 12, 22, 
times two is like not enough. But we might as well play it because we have none discards left, I guess. It was 42 times two. It was exactly enough. <laughs> um, I think the... Oh. How dare you? How dare you? I gotta, I got, I need chips, bro. I need chips. I'm sorry. I, I hate to take this early, but I think it's just, it's the way. And then we gotta play spade flushes. But anyway, um, I think that like the default stake might actually be like where people play Balatro for fun once the dust settles. And it's no longer like, you know, just trying to unlock everything in the game. Ace, two, three, four, five. So I, I feel like, don't lose sight of the fact that this is not an easy game. You know, I'm not just saying that to defend myself. I'm, I'm saying it because it's the darn truth. I really want plus one hand size. Um, it's hard not to tell. Oh, I can't afford it anyway. Okay, that changes everything. I guess I will buy this then. Times four mult if you get four of a kind. Pretty unlikely to get uh, four of a kind that are all spades right now. But... In the future, if imagine if we got something like a polychrome DNA, for example, I think that that could pop off and really get to the next level. <laughs> I would uh, I would discard this because an ace two three four five probably gets us there. Barring that, two pair with two ace uh, sorry with two spades might give us now it gave us enough chips to. Uh, feel bad about ourselves how about a straight with one spade obviously we we have a, a a problem right now we need more jokers a little crazy but sure 10-4 and then i see a skippable to create more jokers tens and fours give us a benefit as do spades of course dump them dump them Two, three, four, five, six. Now we're talking a straight flush with uh, 250 extra chips and the four associated with it. I would have thought it would be way better than it actually was in terms of points. I'd pay six bucks for a jumbo buffoon pack. And honestly, I mean, we need mults. So I'm taking 15 mults if you have zero discards because I will often have zero discards and then we will not be skipping this one. So you keep your four. I mean, you could probably, I mean, you have to discard. As much as I hate to say it. But like three, four, five, six, seven. Probably. Excuse me. Probably gets you there. Three, four, five, six, seven. With four spades and a plus 15 molt out of Mystic Summit. We're, we've kind of hobbled together a run. And the family is not doing much right now. But okay. I mean, you, you genuinely like you need it and then i think that the strength card at least allows us to possibly get a, a four of a kind and i guess we would want them to be four of a kind fours or tens but we might be we might be fishing for something a little bit too precious no repeat hand types are allowed either we have none spades so that seems like obviously horrible um, okay, we got exactly what I was looking for, and I feel like a genius. I really don't feel like 10-4 is good enough to build around. Like, plus 4 molt on a 10 or a 4? Maybe if it was like plus 10 molt, you could, you could start to talk about it. <sighs> it's very tempting to take spare trousers. We can't really... I mean, it takes forever for it to catch up to Abstract Joker, but it would eventually pass it. And that Walkie Talkie is kind of like... Well, the thing is, like, Walkie Talkie at best is 20 molt, bro. And you're 15 molt flat. I guess I would just dump you, and I'm going to run Eternal Pants. And at least now we, have, we know what we're doing. We're trying to make 10s and 4s. It's 14 bucks. That's, that's not insignificant. Versus making one four. I, I guess I would take the 14 bucks off of that. And then a fool card that gives us another 14 bucks. Maybe econ sorted for the time being. But we, we want to play two pair. Ideally, our two pair would almost always be tens and fours. So I'm, I'm, I should have dumped the six. I don't know what I was thinking on that one. I got to keep the six in this situation because now I got to 
try that. We play two, full house is two pair, essentially. Good enough. We have three, four, five, six, seven. It's a straight with two spades and a, oh, we, we don't have 10, four anymore, so we don't have to worry about that. And we have 10, 10. That might not be a thousand points now that I look at it. It's exactly a thousand points as well, more or less. It's approximately a thousand points. Econ is looking good. This is now a great opportunity for us to start fixing our deck a little bit. Unfortunately, oh, you know what? No, no, spades go great for us, bro. Spades go, they're positively scrumptious as a result of this unlosable spade joker. And then Uranus or Earth? Neither. Okay, we'll go Venus mode on this. And we'll roll once. I, do, I would like more tarot cards, though. So we want two pair, and it doesn't matter if it's tens or fours, now that I think about it. The, the only thing that really matters, maybe, is how many spades you get in it. And you need to discard because you need the you need the Mystic Summit. Okay, so don't don't be a fool. Stay in school. That's a, a beautiful full house that I don't mind uh, I don't mind tossing. We do also have four of a kind. Four of a kind is obviously amazing, and it's what we're looking for like at some point. But for now, to me, it seems more sensible to increment two pair because you, you're going to need your pants are eternal brother you're going to need something to, to keep them chunking once i saw how many points we got off of that i started to think maybe i made a mistake let's make sure we're throwing spades in this don't do me like that man <laughs> pair of sixes dipped in mama liz's spade oil no this game's not playing around today, man. Okay, rare Joker. Free rerolls. We, we don't have to build around the first Joker. It's fair to say maybe I'm overemphasizing the, the need to build around the first Joker. You take a look for the straight flush. I mean, it's a simple situation. If you're here, you take a look for the straight flush. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We probably get there in one hand, which means we might even be able to afford two Jokers. Nothing's going to stop me with two Jokers. Times three molt of your hand contains a straight. Okay, incredibly risky. That's why we need the wheel to help. Oh! <laughs> no luck involved. We can... I, I'm just going to level with you. We have to skip this because we're not going to make any money off it anyway, basically. But we probably won't be able to afford our negative joker. But we do have ace, two, four, five. We have ace, two, three, four, five. This is going to give us like, I was just going to say 18 molt. That's not even that much. Um, judge. <laughs> so obviously we need a little bit of help. We need a little bit of help. What do we need? We need a flat molt that can then, I mean, it's only anti two. So like cut me some slack here. We need a flat molt that then gets multiplied by 4.5. We certainly cannot afford that. Not that it would be exactly what we're looking for to begin with. How about, I mean, you just buy spectral packs when they show up. It's the law. I would love to get a rare joker. A spectral card if you play a six. Start with none discards. Okay, it's a spicy situation. I hate to play a six and ruin our straight, but and we start with none discards. Yeah, we're cooked. Um, and I did it to myself. <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> Hang on, you'd never know. If we draw another straight immediately... Oh my God, we did. <laughs> hold, hold. Can I please get a flat malt joker? Oh my God, I'm... I'm I'm going crazy here. 10 molt on a flush? Brother, I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm, th there's no reason to play ectoplasm yet. We can just hold it. I'm not, I mean, we're not gonna be playing a straight flush. Let me just think about it. So a straight is giving us like, probably realistically it's giving us like 50 times 16. So it's giving us like 800 points. What if we had a flush, it would be giving us 
35 times 21. But it's not gonna be 35, it's gonna be like 55 times 20, it's gonna be like 1,000. Okay, I think for the moment we have to buy this and I would love to get plus one hand size, bro. I would, I would go crazy over plus one hand size. So for the moment, we, we do wanna see sixes, obviously, to get more spectral cards. But flushes temporarily beat straights, I think. Sorry, six cents, I would love to have made you work here. I mean, we still need to juice this up, bro. <laughs> I mean, we have five, six, seven, eight. Do we have, a, we have a nine of, no, we don't have a nine of hearts and we don't have a four of hearts. So we literally will not hit our straight flush. But I'm telling you, the flush beats the straight in terms of overall score. Now, unfortunately, we don't have it, which means we're probably cooked because we need like an unbelievable hand here. I mean, this, this is the kind of one where you just throw your PC out the window. Obviously, okay, what, what, what's happening here? <clears throat> we need a better level. I mean, we don't need two rare jokers, but I'm a double skipping Andy. We need better foundational level jokers. And like, it's nobody's favorite way to play the game, but we need less of the swing for the fences jokers and more of the like, you feel comfortable bringing them home for dinner jokers. You know what I mean? Like we need less build arounds and more like complimentary Andrews. I'll play a full house on this. We should have enough money to buy one rare joker. In order for us to survive, it probably has to affect our score. Just keep that in mind. Okay, you know what? Times three molt on a straight. Looks a little familiar, I'm not gonna deny it. And then we might as well skip the first one. What do you need, a thousand? I think maybe we play it. We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is like the highest value straight we could play right now. Um, We'll, we may get enough money in order to buy one common joker. And if it's a common joker that adds malt and we only play straights, like we have a chance. So now we have something that we can look for at least. Straights with aces. I mean, I, I see obviously that we have a full house, but that's just not the way we, we, we have to play the game right now. As painful as it is. As as painful as it is no fives are you kidding me we what do we got 12 fives left in this deck thank you ace two three four five it at least gives us four extra molt that then gets multiplied see that's that's all we needed right there we will get four dollars uh, six dollars enough to buy another common joker which does not exist so we go next one in seven cards get drawn face down no problem we know what we're trying to do. We have three aces, but we need the times three molt in order to make it. So you dump it. You only need to play one perfect straight. Why did I get rid of so many aces, bro? You're not, obviously not a four. You're a two or a three, which means you can go. Ace, two, three, four, five. I think I very nearly completely threw this one. Instead, we don't need too much more here. We'll go nine nine six four four hopefully. Six six four. I can live with that. Ah we'll go eight eight two two two. I'm telling you, just let me live. <laughs> I've learned from my mistakes. One more flat molt joker would go crazy, bro. I, I it can't be swashbuckler. It's just too garbage. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even cards, okay, even cards are worth more. I, th that's enough for us to build something, man. Now give me the Arcanas. I was hoping to see a Temperance, although eight bucks is a little whack, right? Let's go, let's go Empress on our Aces so that they become even better. And I, I do think the money's gonna be relevant to get us to Telescope, which will help us scale nicely because we're, we're gonna try to play basically only straights. I think we can try two, three, four, five, six, because it does have three evens in it, which makes it not as horrendous as it otherwise would be. 
I, which means I guess we could play two, three, four, five, six. Don't really need to do the math on that one. 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, okay. Obviously shoot the moon is pure garbage for us. Let's, let's go all in, man. Jumbo Arcana to see if we get like a hermit. No hermit, we go back to temperance. Yeah, I could live with that. Telescope, when uh, celestial packs show up, we'll be happy to see them. All spade cards are debuffed. I would love to search for, I mean, I would play two, three, four, five, six. Although, I mean, aces are about as good as an even card. We got enough hands to, to make this work. It's just gonna be a little spicy. We need the times three molt, which is why I feel like, I, I, although, ace, 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 two, two, would give us 40 extra chips, eight extra malt, and then another eight extra malt. So that would give us 20 malt, and we would have 66, we would have 106 chips plus times 20 malt. So this is basically 2,000 points again. I think we'd be silly not to play it. Oh, plus the extra four molt from the Ace of Hearts. Okay. Now we would love to play a straight to, to round this out. And we got there. If, if you didn't realize before that the stakes get harder, me actually doing the math should probably inform you that that is indeed the case. <laughs> oh, beautiful. So, um... Retrigger all played face cards, which there are none of in our deck, or hallucination, which never seems to work. Okay, it worked. I have successfully cyber bullied it. Ace of Diamonds will go crazy with the red seal. And then, uh, I mean, this is a really tough one for me because I think this four goes nuts. More aces is always great, but maybe we got too many. But also getting a tarot card that can also work as a steel card is kind of amazing. But let's just focus on making our deck better. It, it rarely steers you wrong. I'm not going to lie to you. 10 flat molt would go crazy. And this boss debuff is nothing. But I think we got to... I think we got to do this one. So that we can buy something useful in the shop. And then we skip the next one for money if necessary. Or maybe we skip this one and then buy the hollow malt in the shop. Yeah, but can we get to 13,000? 13,000 is going to be tough. I mean, we just had a hard time getting the getting to 6,000. I think we might need to play it. I'm, I'm not pleased about it, but I, I think it's the case. And maybe, brother, we have four cards highlighted. I see the problem. Okay, well, then let's just send it then. Having a red seal ace is really going to help us out. That's 6,000 points by itself. I'm, I would be totally content to play like just another straight. It doesn't have to have an ace in it. I would be content to play, maybe I shouldn't be, but like it, it seems about as good as a discard. Yeah, that was, that was not as good as I wanted it to be. We have eight, nine, 10. We have 10, 10, 10, 8, 8, which at least is even cards. That doesn't seem that bad. I guess we could have flush house that, but... See, this is why, I mean, we like we need a joker. Like, we can't afford to just be skipping blinds just because the reward looks nice. Face cards give four molt wins scored. Thanks for nothing. Or uh, plus one molt per hand played. Thanks for nothing. How about a judgment? How about a way out of this, this curse that you've given me? Okay, I mean, I'll hermit. It's only six bucks, but it's something. Hierophant could save us. It's, it's better than any of these jokers. I'll at least sell the moon card, and then we'll open this. Maybe we'll get an extra tarot card. Blue seal three. Honestly, like I'm, I'm take, I'm taking it, but I'm not happy about it. Okay, and I've, I've got to play this because we're on the bubble right now, Doug. Ace two three four five. Beautiful. Let's make our five, let's make our four and our two bonus because they're the most likely to stick around because they're evens. I mean, I'm out here fighting for my freaking life. There is no mindlessness involved in what you're seeing right now. 
We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A couple of even cards involved. It'd be really lovely to play that four. That four is probably the best card in our deck. We have ace, two. We got to discard to see if we can keep the three. Uh, I'll play this ace. No, okay. Ace, two. I discarded my straight. <laughs> okay, ace, ace, seven, seven. What was I thinking? This has got to get us there. I don't know if it does, man. <laughs> what about a four? Okay, it's 58, 50, it's 60 chips times five molt at a minimum, and then we get the extra four off of it, which I just want to see what the planet is, man. The planet could change our life. I don't know about that. I'm not feeling too optimistic about this one, guys. How, how are we doing on tarot cards? We've used five. I could be swayed on that one for sure. And then start me with the Jumbo Arcana because there's there's some we really want. Hermit is not really it, but at least, I mean, this is a, an insane play, but at least Hermit gives us enough to increment once and then buy another Arcana pack, which could give us another tarot card and did give us another tarot card. And we get a, a, a Saturn is actually like an unbelievable helper. And then Empress gives us two tarot, or Emperor gives us two tarot cards. One of which we probably won't use, but the Empress is going to be very valuable. And at least we got the softest softball you could ever ask for from the boss blind. So you and you get buffed. And now we got Ace, two, three, four, five with a Red Seal Molt triggering Ace. That's, I, I really thought we were going to get there in one, but it's not a huge deal. This is really good. Like we... I, I wouldn't say like we're cruising, but I, I'm at least more confident than I was, you know, before we had Fortune Teller. Because it's 10 molt that's then getting multiplied by 3 in most circumstances. Plus, none of our jokers are eternal, which actually kind of owns. Sad. Um, we don't have telescope on this one, right? That was 7. Oh, we do have telescope on this one. Okay, give me... Uh, thank you so much. That's exactly what I wanted to see. I know, I guess I could use it for the molt. That's worth more than a dollar. Unless we get another pack. Oh, he's a genius. <laughs> we got to figure out what we're going to do with this hermit card, though. Okay, we need 36,000 points. I mean, that's no joke. We really, I, we should feel blessed that we have like a clarified purpose. We want to play... Just go ahead and send. I know we don't have a straight flush, but... We want to play Ace, two, three, four, five as often as possible. We at least know, oh my God, we got there in one hand. It's been so long since that's happened. Obviously not making a ton of money off that. Life goes on. We go next. It, it feels nice for the first time in a while to actually like know what I'm trying to do. Ace, two, three, four, five. Instead of just like floundering or just playing flushes for the first half of the game. A straight build is always a little spicy though. There's no doubt about that. We're at 10 bucks. I would, you know what, pop the Hermit card. It's not the highest value Hermit, but we got a Justice card out of it here. This is fantastic. Let me go at, what, what's Temperance worth? 13 bucks. I love that for us. Let's, let's glass up a card. I would take 13 extra dollars, as good as Hierophant can be for us. I'll open a standard pack off that too. There's a 50% chance to get a tarot card. We got a nice little two. And I didn't even realize the Saturn card. That's like, uh, that's huge for us. Okay, 36,000 points. Actually at the point where it seems plausible. I mean, this is, this is a hot one. <laughs> Ace, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Ace, two, three, four, five. I love that for us. Probably doesn't get us there in one, even though a couple of the cards are juiced. Ace, two, three. Do we have any fours? We have four fours left. What a beautiful circumstance we find ourselves in. Now this is juiced, bro. Okay, now the hard part. How do we start working different jokers in and out? For us to feel like more like we're scaling like we're improving 
I would definitely like just keep bumping the cards that we like to bump. How about a tarot card? Thank you so much, the moon. Um, I don't really want any of these, to be honest with you. I'm just going to say we paid money for a, a moon card instead. Mega buffoon pack. I'm, I'm skipping on this. And I think if anything, we don't need seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So even though it might screw up our ratios a little, well, what do we, what do we have? We got five aces, five twos, five threes, five fours, but only four fives. I'll just create an ace because it's... I mean, A is convenient, but then also like B, we have Scholar. Keep it simple. Am I really gonna, it's, it's hard to discard a multi Ace in this situation, but it's probably the right move, bro. Are you kidding me? Like, did I, did I do something to you to offend you? Ace, two, three, four, five. It's actually a straight flush which is way worse than a regular straight. Sucks to play the blue seal, but in all likelihood, it was gonna give us a planet we don't care about anyway. It's just the way of the world. I, I hate to be cynical about it. Empress goes crazy. I, hallucination is the first joker to go, without a doubt, but I am really enjoying how it's, it's synergizing with fortune teller right now. You won't hear me say that all that often. Empress, Empress is very, well, it, it makes more, well, there's two uh, schools of thought. Don't use Empress now because we can use it to get immediate score on our next battle or use it now so you could carry two tarot cards into the next battle instead. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use it in the next battle because I don't wanna really make two threes molted. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a gold card because I'm not exactly spoiled for choice. Let's see what we get out of this. Oh, another tarot card you shouldn't have. Now I'm going to mix it up. We're going to use Empress so we can use High Priestess. We'll use Uranus, though I hope to never play two pair. Saturn is a huge get. A lot of good choices. I'm actually going to go crazy and destroy two nines, even though one of them is glass, just to make our straights easier to draw. I think there were a lot of decisions on that one um, that were all basically good. You have to play straights. It's, it's that simple. And just, you, you probably only need to play one. So don't get too, you know, insane about it. Don't get too greedy. You don't need to hold on to four molted aces. I think we, as, as nice as it would be, A little, a little scared about this one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, at least. Um, as nice as it would be to eventually pivot to something that's a little better for Endless, I think we're stoked to just have a chance to get through Anti-8 after we flamed out of like a hundred different runs <laughs> at the start of the video. I'm just happy to be here. Fool card gives us Hanged Man. I mean, I love a tarot. That's, I, I'm gonna start taking purple seals. I gotta trust my gut. Purple seals tend to be good. Insane, insane value. Give me a gold seal five, and then we'll just go next. Cards previously played are debuffed. Well, I'll, I'll tell you straight up, it's kind of a weak play, but we'll dump one of you there, and then we, we gotta at least discard you. Gives us temperance. I feel like I'd rather have a Hanged Man card that I can use to make straights easier to draw because the hard part about a straight build is, is just getting the cards in the first place. It's easier in the abandoned deck because you don't have to worry about getting face cards, but it's still, like, it's not, it's not easy. So I, I stand by, I, I, in my personnel opinion, very rarely do I find myself disappointed when I make my Hang on, we could do something here. When I make my overall deck more consistent and better. Sometimes it's like the, the non-flashy play is the one that pays dividends in the long term. Sometimes it's a flashy play. Sometimes it's a Wheel of Fortune hitting and then a Fool on that and then the Fool Wheel of Fortune hits. But sometimes it's, it's just slow and steady wins the race, bro. Um, I'm scared about destroying a random card, even four two aces. So as cowardly as it is, I'm skipping that. I don't, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to get rid of my purple seal. There's a lot of stuff I don't want to. I don't want to mess up there. And I'll molt you. 
Should have probably just this there as well, but let's make rerolls cheaper. And honestly, we're looking great right now. And I have to give it up for Hallucination. A, a Joker that I have insulted quite a lot is doing a lot of great work for us on this one. Let me get Ace, two, three, four, five. And I'll just move the glass to the end. If the four breaks, it breaks. Table stakes. There it goes. <laughs> How many fours we got in the deck? Still got four. Still pretty good. Easiest buy of my life. Oh, I, I actually thought we would do... Oh my god, we've used 29 tarot cards. Fortune Teller is so good, bro. I love it. Empress. You things you love to see. Send it. Death card. Um, yeah, you know what? I mean... Red Seal Ace goes crazy, but we're already, like, kind of over-aced. If anything, rather create, like, another four, right? We just dumped a four from the deck. Might not be the flashiest play, but it's it's something. We go next. 112,000. Should be pretty doable. I'm going to dump the gold card. I, I simply don't care. Financially, we seem to be doing just fine. That being said, I am going to keep my gold seal card. Make it make sense. <laughs> Ace, two, three, four, five. Ace, two, three, four, five. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with a strength card. I guess I was going to say converting kings into aces, but I guess that's uh, <laughs> probably not going to draw too many kings. Rough. Um... We can't even really raise like a... I guess we could raise a 3 to a 4 and a 2 to a 3. And then we got ace, 2, 3, 4, 5. And hopefully... I mean, we could even play 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, but then the 4 is the... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I, for some reason, I was like, this lets us keep our blue seal 3. But it's not a blue seal 3 anymore, is it? So I'm still chilling, but I'm also still scared. It's a very strange confluence of emotion. But one thing I know, if nobody got me, I know Hallucination got me. Kind of ate my words on that one, but that's that's life. Um, I'm going to Hanged Man one card. And we are going to buy Saturn. I mean, like, we could probably just win. It's a little, like, forehead. We could probably just win by buying Saturn cards. You're giving us four mults. At Eternal, that's like it's too heavy of a cost. Play only one hand type this round. We're pretty much only playing Ace, two, three, four, five straight anyway. So like, I think we're, we're okay. We do have six, seven, eight, nine. There's no Ace in there, but might get us there anyway, just on evens. Close. Uh, you know what? It's actually kind of nice because we get an extra tarot card off the discard. He's huffing that copium. Let's turn an eight into a stone just to get a little extra molt. Ace, two, three, four, five. Okay. Realistically, this is anti seven. What do we need to beat anti eight? You probably have to dump hallucination. I've been dragging my heels on it. We also. Real. I mean, actually, I love like everything I see here. First off, Saturn's just good. Secondly, card sharp is going to be times three molt on our second straight when we are playing two hands most of the time. So this seems like a given if we just want to win, which we do. Hallucination, though, first to see if we get bonus tarot cards. I love ya. Chariot on you. I think we got the right play here. Hermit for the money. Emperor, because we get two cards off of it, which really helps out fortune teller. Um, sell the world card, then maybe we get another tarot card on opening. That stings, but that's the cost of doing business. Uh, we'll go Hierophant on Ace, two, three, four, five straight enablers. Then honestly, I think hallucination is done either way, so let's try to make a judgment work. It's not what we want to see long term. Let's get a, an extra stock going here. Free Hermit card, things you love to see. And then card sharp seems like it goes crazy. It's eternal, so it's a big cost, but... I stand by it. Now, I got to think about Scholar is giving us four molt and 20 chips per ace, two, three, four, five straight, which I think means it's good to go because you're giving us 44 molt. 
you're giving us eight molts, but you can go too. So I think we could even send you out for ice cream, but why not fish for something a little bit more, you know, permanent than ice cream? How many straights have we played? 28? Okay, I mean, that's a given. Runner would have been great if it showed up earlier. I, I don't think it scales at this point fast enough for like endless to really work, so. But I, I think we have a, a really nice setup. We do have three, four, five, six, seven, and we no longer have Scholar. So why not discard this and just see where you stand, man? It's kind of a weird play here, I'll admit. Steel, blue, seal, four, three, four, five, six, seven. Might get us there. Got us there. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Mercury, huge. Empress, always nice. Celestial pack gives us a Saturn. Sa the Saturns go crazy because it's two extra molts that then is times three, but is also sometimes times nine. Useless, mostly, but I was looking for a negative Joker. You can't, can't blame me for that one. One random Joker disabled every hand. That is bad, but I don't think it's bad enough for us to lose. Because the only thing that would really suck... How, how am I not molting out of my, or straighting out of my gourd here, bro? Ace, two, three, four, five. There we go. I guess we should at least do that. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. The only one that's really horrible is if it is if it disables the order. But if it disables the order on one hand, it's probably not going to disable the order on the next hand. And we'd still have card sharp either way. So there's like, I think there's a lot to like. And we are, it's, it's hard to believe, but we're on the boss, man. <laughs> Didn't always appear that this was something that was going to happen in this video. And we did it with a, a slightly, it's not the most unusual deck of all time, but it is a slightly unusual deck. For me, at least. <coughs> let's roll. Broncos country, let's roll. Okay, please disable something garbage. That's the only one that I didn't want you to disable. Uh, but it is what it is. We know what we're doing either way. You're getting dumped here. We are going for an ace, two, three, four, five, I think. All reliable, one extra tarot card. I'm going to dump the steel card, man. Two, three, four, five. Ace, two, three, four, five. Uh, I mean, I'm not like super stoked about a devil card, but it does give us extra mults. So we play ace, two, three, four, five. This should not win. But next time, we win. Because no matter, I mean, that's actually another really bad one to have disabled. And I'm mad at you. <laughs> But, ace, two, three, four, five, we're going to get the card sharp. We're going to get times nine molt. Our molt is going to be a lot lower to start with. Than, okay, good, 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 good. We're holding. Good, we, we got to a win in this video. Don't lose sight of that. No one can take that away from us. Let's see what we got in us for endless. But it's, uh, it's a long trip. Hand size is helpful. Our econ is, like, not fully sorted. So we're doing the one in 300 chance for a negative joker. Didn't pan out. That's a surprise. <laughs> I think we still want to play. So I'm, I'm trying to think about, like, how do we beat the odds on this one? Because we, we really do have to beat the odds. Dump this five. Dump the eight. Dump the stone. Dump a two. Try to keep your, your planet card just in case. Like, that's one way that we beat the odds on this run, is just getting a, a ton of Saturn cards, I suppose. Ace, two, two, freaking ace, ace, two, two. Ace, ace, two, does this get us 50,000 points? I'm a little skeptical. <laughs> With no scholar involved. I mean, honestly, we have to play two pair again. Even with the steel, because then at least we get the card sharp bonus. 
I got a feeling we're not going too deep in endless, but that's fairly typical for me for a straight build anyway. Let's see. You never know if we can start to pull something, pull a rabbit out of our hat. <laughs> Truth be told, a glass three, I mean, 20 bucks is really nice. Ah, oh, you gotta go with that, man. You can't be, can't be messing about out here. It's bad for your health. So this is 24 molts on an Ace 2, 3, 4, 5, but we're already getting there, man. Like, you are the next replaceable, but it's not gonna be for Fib. It's not gonna be replacing, actually, you're like eight molts. It is gonna be for Fib, but we still need a lot more. Certainly not going to be face cards. It's not going to be 15 mults. It's not going to be 8 mults if we have a pair. Those don't really compute here. Four sevens right off the bat. Death card. I like it. Ace, two, three, four, five. I'm just always scared when we don't get... Uh, like, we get our ideal hand, and we still don't get to win in one uh, in one hand. We've got a great two-hander, and I recognize the, the problem with the phrasing here, um, because of card sharp, but, like, that's... It only lasts until it doesn't, you know what I mean? But let's not lose sight of the fact that this is a success, man. Jupiter. Not really what I'm looking for, but... Straight up out of all of these. First off, I guess I would turn a stone into our cool four. But I think we want high priestess because like out of these three, the only thing that matters is like if we can get Saturns. I'm not going to sell cards for a dollar. You never know if this extra molt might come in handy, but... Straight is level 11. It's pretty good. Please? Oh, we needed something like that. Now you got to go here. That 10 molt is... Listen... <laughs> it's not gonna keep us going forever, but it is very nice for a period of time, at least. Dump them. Not getting a two on that is... is. I mean, that's dirty work. Strength card. Not getting a two on that, I mean, I, you don't even need me to say it. That's dirty work, bro. I don't know what we're gonna do with a strength card. It does help us make a straight, but it's a hard one to apply appropriately. Oh, brother. <laughs> Surely this has to be at least four of a kind, right? No? All right, all right, all right. That's 3,000 points. That's pretty bad. Um, what do you think about running this little action right here? A pair, huh? I think we're cooked, everybody. Play your five lowest cards. Uh, it was a 10? How many aces did I have in my hand, bro? <laughs> well, whatever. I had fun regardless. I hope you did as well. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And of course, I will see you next time. See ya!